everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber, and today I'm going to show you how to use an animation to spawn an object in VR chat. Let's get started. If you're interested in using this teddy bear for any of your own projects, I actually have it available for free download on my Discord server, which is linked below. So feel free to join my server, join the community, ask questions, talk to me, all that good stuff, plus get some free downloads. The first thing you're going to want to do is drag the FBX of the item you want to spawn into your scene and resize it and place it where you want. For now, just put it over the hand. Later, we're going to adjust the rotation and the placing of it. Then you're going to want to link that FBX to the hand. So you're going to toggle down until you get to the left wrist, which is the one that we're going to use. You're going to want to drag and drop the teddy bear and nest it underneath the left wrist. Next, just duplicate your model so we can work on the animation on the duplicate and not mess up the original. I've gone over this in my past videos as well, so if you need a refresher course, feel free to check those out again. Once you have your duplicate selected, click on the animation tab and choose from the drop down which hand gesture you want to attach your spawn to. Click on preview and then adjust so that you can see your model in the view window. Now I'm going to select the bear and I'm going to start rotating it and moving it. Remember to move your model around a lot so you can see it from all angles and make sure that the bear is in the right place. I'm going to have her hand holding the back of the bear's neck. I'm not worrying about the shape or position of the fingers right now, I'm just worrying about the bear in relation to where the hand is. Now a really really important step is that once you have the bear in position, you're going to copy the transform from this bear because you're working on a duplicate and you're going to paste it onto the bear in your original model so that they're in the same place because otherwise when you delete the second model the transform will be deleted as well and you'll have to do it over. Now that that's done you can start adjusting the values on each of the fingers on the first keyframe and just adjust each little piece until you get it exactly how you want it and it fits well with your spawned object. Then you're going to scroll all the way down, click add property, you're going to click armature and then you're going to just navigate down 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 until you get to the teddy bear. Once you toggle that down, just click the plus next to is active and make sure your check mark is checked. Now all you have to do is copy all of the keyframes from the left and duplicate them over to the right so that all of your keyframes match each other. Then click on the project tab, reactivate your original model and delete the duplicate. It's important to keep the teddy bear active on both models while you're doing the animation in order for it to work, otherwise sometimes it freaks out and does really weird things. So after you've already deleted your duplicate and you're back in your original, navigate through all the drop downs until you see the teddy bear and uncheck it. So this means it's not active unless you're using the emote. And that's it! Once you're done, you can upload your avatar and check out your emotes and your spawn in VRChat. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial and I'll see you in the next one!